Shamari and welcome back to the Welshman's Journey. Today we are playing the F FA Cup? No, the Nathaniel MG Cup semi-final against an incredibly inform Bala Town side. We played against Bala last episode and we haven't played many games since as well. We did unfortunately lose 1-0. And it's been a little bit of a mixed bag recently in, the, well, in the three games we played since. We did win 2-0 against Kevin Druid. Very, very happy with that. We lost 3-2 to Connors Key in the JD Welsh Cup third round. We were out of that again this season at the first time of asking. And then we've just drawn one all with Rill. Slightly annoying because they did score in the last minute. A little bit disappointing with that. And if we take a look at the table, it hasn't really changed much. We're still in six, sixth position i'm very very happy with with still being in six to be honest alex darlington 12 goals so far this season i don't think he's still top no he's second in the league or goal scorer and we've act, we're actually the second highest goal scoring team in the league now today we can play against bala and as you can see here they're doing very very well and i didn't realize exactly how well they're doing they have won seven league games in a row eight if you include the welsh cup as well so they're in absolute incredible form and we could, if we beat them today, I think we have a good chance of winning the trophy because the two teams left in it, let me just see, apart from us two, is Portalbert, who are in the division below, and Aberystwyth, who are currently bottom of the table. So if we beat Bala today, I am confident that we will be able to pick up our first trophy as a manager. Well, I hope anyway. But this, this is a, a, we, we won't really get a better chance because obviously we're out of the cup this season and we're not going to win the league. Even I think even if we won every single game for the rest of the season, we probably still wouldn't win the league because I didn't wait. I didn't actually. Oh no, past winners. I thought this was uh, Bangor winning the league. Yeah, no, Bangor won it last season. TNS won it three seasons in a row before that. So it's going to be a new winner this season. A new winner. No one anywhere recently out of the, these teams have won it. Well, Barry did win it back then, but that, that's the old Barry. We're the new Barry. So today we play against Bala, and some bad, bad news is Danny Gossett picked up a yellow card last game and is suspended. So you can see here just how much we're going to miss him. 7.11 rating so far this season. And unfortunately, Dean Rittenberg still hasn't scored for us. I'm sticking with him, though. I'm, be I'm trying to put my faith in him. Uh, I'll stick him back on. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll try him as a defensive forward and see if see if playing him in his suited role helps him a little bit more. It's really annoying because he is actually our highest paid player. So it would be really nice if he could actually chip in with some goals. So we've got Connor Waring in goals today. Dallon Reese, Curtis Watkins, Johnny Lynch and Lawrence Wilson across the back. Troy Greening and Scott Evans in a very, very weakened midfield today. Kane McLaggen on the right and Reese James on the left with Dean Rittenberg and Alex Darlington up front. So like I said, this is an incredibly, incredibly inform Ballard Townside. We've already lost twice to them this season, and we, we, and we know how good uh, Lewis Knight is up front. So he is, something we have, he is someone we've got to be careful of once again, because he absolutely tore us apart every time we played them this season. So here we go then. Uh, their first cup semi-final of our managerial career it's almost suit and tie time if we manage to win this it will indeed be suit and tie time there's a chance early on in the game here darlington crosses the ball in and we've scored dean rittenberg i said i was going to keep the faith and and keep playing him to to see if he can get his first goal and the two strikers have linked up 20 seconds into the game james over the top darlington makes a good run it's a really really good pinpoint cross by uh, Alex Darlington and Rittenberg really gets up really well there to score his first goal for the club. Fantastic link-up play from the strikers. That was a really, really well-worked goal. And now we've got a lead to hold on for. I know it's a, it's a long time to try and hold on to the lead, but we could be the first team to beat Balatown. Uh, I think it's Balatown. It might just be Bala. Uh, to beat Bala in, in eight games, which would be quite... Well, just to stop them winning in 90 minutes would be quite an achievement, to be honest. So we're, we're, we're careering towards half-time now, and it's, you can see Bala have had the better, the more chances since we've got that really early goal. If we manage to get into half-time 1-0 up, I will be very, very happy. There hasn't been, obviously, you can tell there hasn't been many chances, because we haven't had another highlight approaching half-time yet. It looks like 
we could we're going in a half time one nil up i think yes no half time whistle there we go half time whistle very very happy with that apparently we're losing a lot of possession and we're struggling to make inroads on the left which means Reese James probably isn't playing very well. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to give them the... We've got to guard against complacency because even though I could tell them they're doing really well, I don't want them to be delighted. I want them to be motivated and gain focus. Gain confidence is another good one as well. But that, I think at that half-time team talk went very well. If, we, if the second half goes exactly like the first half, I'd be very happy. We score early on again. We've got a free kick here. I'm not sure if it's... Uh, if anything actually going to come for it. No. There's a highlight here though. Wilson clears the ball up. Pack gets it. Greening now. It's through to Darlington. He's through on goal. Can he score? Oh, he thought it was in. I was just about to celebrate. And Alex Darlington misses a one-on-one -on -one sh a chance there. And I really would have put my money on him to score. He's been clinical this season. And he could have put the game, not beyond doubt, but very, very close to finishing. Rittenberg now crosses the ball in. Darlington hit the post. Two chances in the first two minutes of the second half. And we really, really should have scored to give ourselves a little bit of breathing space. But I hope we don't come back to, to rue that in, 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 in a bit. It's 60 minutes gone. I should make a change, but there's not really much to come off the bench. We'll bring off Greening for Fowler. Fowler, there we go. And uh, we'll leave it like that for now. I don't want to commit to too many substitutions just in, in case the, the game changes. Johnny Lynch has had an absolute shocking performance according to his, his rating. I'm not really sure why. We're into the last 10 minutes though. We'll make another substitution. We'll bring up that. Oh, I just realised what I've done. There's no one. There's no strikers on the bench. We're going to have to stick with these two strikers for the rest of the game. There's five minutes to go. Well, just over five minutes to go. And we could be heading to our first cup final in the Welshman's journey. There's 15 seconds left to hold on. Rittenberg's got the ball into Fowler. He loses it. The counter-attack could be on, but Watkins intercepts to Fowler again. And we've done it. We've actually done it. We've beaten Bala 1-0 in after a goal in, in, in the first minute, 20 seconds. We're in the final, congratulations. The only thing that disappoints me is that I would much rather be in the final of the Welsh Cup and qualify for Europe. But we're into the final of the Nathaniel MG Cup. It could be our first trophy. I don't think the, the other game, Barry Fortune to be bad. I would not say it was fortunate. I think it was a very, very good performance. And what a game for Dean Rittenberg to end his goal drought. We're into the final. We don't know. I'm assuming the, the other semi-final is going to be played tomorrow. It could be Patalba. It could be Aberystwyth. I think I prefer Aberystwyth tomorrow, to be honest. Because you've already beaten them. And we, we beat them quite comfortably when we played them. So I'm very, very happy with that. I th I don't, I'm not sure when the final is, if it's already come up on here. Uh, it's, it's after the, it's it's quite a ways away. So I will play, I will show, probably show games in between now and then. So I hope you enjoyed that episode, guys. Make sure you leave a like for us qualifying for the final of the Nathaniel NG Cup. Our first piece of silverware is within touching distance and we'll have to try and change the little intro to, to, to demonstrate now that we well we haven't won it yet but i don't want to get too far ahead of myself but we could actually win this competition whilst knocking out tns and bala on the way through so i hope you enjoyed the video guys if you did please leave a like if you want to see more please subscribe and if you have any tips or comments please leave a comment down below i'll see you again